Thank you for tuning in to Channel CDS with our news anchor, Miss I Need a Mask, with the latest update on cyberbullying. Good evening. I'm Anita Mask with breaking news during this quarantine edition of the CDS Nightly News. Well, one local drag queen took to the schools and is spreading awareness all about cyberbullying. Good afternoon, students, faculty, and administrators. My name is Gia Giovanni. Thank you for allowing me to come and speak with you today. Today, I want to talk to you about cyberbullying. You ask, what is cyberbullying? Cyberbullying is the use of electronic communication to harass a person, typically by sending messages of an intimidating or threatening nature. I know most of you may have experienced some form of harassment or witnessed it at some point in your life. But I want you to think about the impact that you can possibly have on people. People are suffering. People are struggling and people deal with life's every ups and downs. But what I want to challenge you to do is face your responsibility in this and realize that you can make the change in this awful act. I want to challenge you to join my campaign, Don't Be Mean Behind the Screen, so you can make a difference in someone else's life too. This is a growing problem that we now face in the cyber world every day and it has to stop. I mean, think about it. You could be sitting right now next to someone that came to school today and everything about them may seem okay. The reality is you don't know what they're going through. Verbal abuse, physical abuse, molestation. You never know what your classmates or friends are dealing with at home away from school. They come to school for peace and refuge from those struggles they face daily. Then you have that insecure person that comes along and tries to tear them down. Yes, insecure. That's exactly what a bully is. Someone who deals with some type of insecurity and tends to take it out on someone else. What we need in this world are less people who pick on less fortunate and who might be different than you. In fact, we should embrace our different cultures, styles, and personalities. Now, you may not be the bully, you may not be the victim, but what you can be is an advocate for change. You can stand up and let the world know that this is not gonna be accepted and that this change is gonna start with you. Don't allow for friends and your classmates to be bullied by an insecure person. Those of you that are leaders in this school and have the influence can stand up and start the revolution of a campaign against bullying. Use that power that you have and use it to do better for your classmates by setting an example for others to follow. You have the power to impact others. Anyone has the power, really. If you just take that first step and say, no, we don't do that here at this school. No, we don't do that online. I feel like when we start to do that, our school, our city, our state, our country, even the world becomes a better place. You have what it takes to do that. There's a lot of pain, poverty, and struggle in this world, but we've got something better than that, and it's right here in this school, you. So remember, that when you leave this room, when you leave this school, and you go out into the world, or you hang out at the mall, or get behind the computer screen, you have what it takes to make the change in bullying. Don't be a bully. Don't be a victim. Most of all, don't be mean behind the screen. Let's stand together and make a change. Let's put an end to cyberbullying. My name is Gia Giovanni, and I thank you for your time. For more information on how you can help stop online harassment, go to cyberbullying.org. That's it for the CDS Nightly News. I'm Anita Mask. Good night. Tune in next week when we show you the latest updates on our leading manufacturer of hand sanitizer and their plan to restock the nation's supply.